So extra video for today. I am going to read the comments from Meta Zoo's video. Meta Zoo shuts down, destroys entire market. So let's just read the comments. Good thing Rudy never told anyone they should invest in Meta Zoo. A product that would actually go to zero now. Meta Zoo was always a money grab, but fanboys and Mike loyalists kept it going longer. Number one rule of business: don't get high on your own supply. Meta Zoo should have stuck to making crowns, not eating them. This is reference to, of course, the crown eater. Mike pulled it off. Take advantage of the extreme bull market. Hang around for five or so years, make millions off a crappy TCG, and disappear. Best get quick rich scheme in cardboard history. Never got a penny from me though. Who would have thought a company that treats its players, collectors, vendors, artists, and supporters like ATM machines would implode in a few years once the hype died? The only Meta Zoo video I've clicked the thumbs up button. Understand, Meta Zoo didn't die. In reality, it did exactly what it was designed to do, and fulfilled its purpose. It was never a game. It was a vehicle to extract free pandemic money from rubes into the hands of early adopters. Mission accomplished. Time to build the next vehicle. I remember. When those cards came out, and everyone was like, "This looks bad." Also, if it wasn't for this channel, I would not know this game existed. So, unless Rudy promoted it, no one would have invested in it. I gave Metapoo a anyway. I came up with Metapoo, guys. I'm the first known example of using Metapoo. So I need to get some credit for that. I gave Metapoo a shot at my store. The first set we had only sold forty dollars worth in my store, but I planned to stay the course. Oh, then I found out the next set was only available to stores who signed up to host play. After selling forty dollars worth, there was no one trying to play, but still I preserved, pres persevered. Then. It turned out that somehow they said I hadn't signed up for play, even though I had, and they refused me my boxes, and that was my out. Laugh out loud. I'm glad that happened. So I only lost four hundred dollars on this stupid game. Also, to add, I'm not happy about anyone losing R, but I am really happy I didn't lose more than I had. You know that the sizz is going down when Rudy gets disappointed and mad beyond words, speechless. He's only disappointed because he thought this scam could have gone on longer and made him substantially more money. I called it way back when you first started post. You first started posting MetaZoo content, Rudy. I remember getting pushed back from other commenters on those videos. This is hilarious to me. Oh no! The man who sold one Nightfall booster box and one promo for seven hundred and fifty dollars to his patrons is just so sad, guys. I never said to invest in MetaZoo, Rudy. Well, yeah, he can't do that every six months now. Shocked Pikachu face. The majority of people here knew this would happen, despite Rudy denying, insulting, mocking. Everyone who said anything negative and called it out for the obvious crash grab it was. MetaZoo, there, leave a thumbs down, fools. I thought MetaZoo was going to zero, guys. Well, turns out Rudy is shocked when his insider connections got greedy. Laugh out loud. Looks like that in with Mike really didn't mean much other than spending tens of thousands of dollars on a card game most wouldn't even consider collectible. Big Alfred here from Rudy, who spent a couple years pumping and defending nothing but a loss. This won't be the first or last for him. It's not a Big Al. He probably lost 50k to 100k in terms of current inventory worth noting.
worth nothing. He said in the video he had 200 boxes left of every release. He was able to run a sale to his patrons and make money on the game. So the real losers are everyone else who bought, collected, and were holding it. Great post. Better Zoo put a bad taste in my mouth over a year ago. I criticized their constant release of limited time, exclusive stuff, and they completely banned me from their Discord. They banned a lot of people over criticisms. I'm not surprised this happened. This will be the last time I get to say Meta Poo. It's over. Thanks, Rudy. I remember an interview you did with the creator of Meta Zoo. I was excited for the game because the nostalgic art reminded me of early Pokemon. However, the interview opened my eyes and knew this game was going nowhere based on what the creator was saying. I avoided spending money. Time for Rudy to take over and rebrand to Meta Tacos. We got the collapse of Meta Zoo before GTA 6. <laughs> Sorry for everyone involved, all the workers. Rudy, it's quite easy to understand what happened. Can't wait to see Meta Zoo, Meta Zoo bought out of Chapter 11 by Rudy. Then he can print cards, take all the perfect tens, grade them with his other company. Yikes, man. Oof. Rudy can pick up the IP for pennies if he really believes in it. He won't. He's not the sucker here. The viewers are. What IP? MetaZoo was a joke from the beginning. Finally, all my YouTube thumbs down accomplished something. 0% shocked here. Cut to six months to a year from now. Rudy, video title, I bought a Meta Zoo. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's this is this is some crazy stuff, guys. I ain't gonna lie with you. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not every day a meta poo will go out of business this bad. It's really bad, guys. Like it's um I mean I would not be surprised if somebody like CoffeeZilla made a video about this. Because it's big news. I mean, it's big news, right? You know Rudy is pissed. This guy looks like he would... like. This guy looks like he could sell crust TikToks to junkies. Sad for the free YouTubers who actually bought the product. <laughs> that means no meta zoo jokes of thumbs down? Damn, that's the real end of an era. Um... Honestly, not surprised at all. Algos knew they were going to do the rug pull. That's why he was selling off all his grails. Unknown if that was true. Shocker. Rudy should buy the company and take it over. <laughs> yeah, he's not that stupid, guys. He's already got a uh, grading company that is going nowhere right now. So, I mean, yeah. What a spicy development. Oh, yikes, guys. This is a big yikes. I mean, come on, guys. Like, use your head. Use your head. Is this investment a good idea? No. You, you can ask anyone. Ask anyone if this investment is a good idea, and they'll tell you no, it's not. Because it's not a good idea.